colleges make a lot of money. Yes, they do. I mean, and all they've really done, in my opinion, is they've moved the pro football earlier four years. Now, what they better do is do what they did in the pro football, and that is make a ceiling on what a rookie can that's make. A great point. Great. So if they do that for college, then that's fine. Okay. And I even say as a freshman, you can only get this much NIL. Sure. As a sophomore, you can get this much NIL. And, and as a junior, well, they won't be there as juniors. Right? I mean, sure. yeah. they want to go get the others. But right now, there's some kids that are making more money in college than they are as rookies in the NFL. And making more money than the coaches who are coaching them. Well, yeah. And, you know, the only thing on this, the only thing on that, um, and this is just me, um, you know, you can say all you want about kids leaving, then don't, as a coach, be leaving after a year. And don't, as a coach, when you're at, let's use Penn High School as an example, you're coaching at Penn High School, but you're asking the older coaches at Penn High School, what do you think of this job? What are you asking me for? Why don't you coach here good first? <laughs> you know, I mean, and I think that's what's happened a little bit in college football. Young coaches, I mean, I remember being a young coach. I, I never applied for a job in my life. Okay, I mean that, and and I was lucky that way. And uh, I used to really get upset with guys that would kind of say to you if they kind of liked you, uh, "Hey, coach, um, I've been contacted by this. What do you think of this job? Well, why don't you take care of this one first? You know, why don't you do your job here? And if you're good enough, then somebody will offer you a job, and you won't even have to interview. I mean, just like you, you didn't interview. You were offered the job, and. You